Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about winter. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of winter is Job chapter 37, verses 5 through 13. It says, God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things, which we can't comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall on the earth, likewise to the shower of rain, and to the showers of his mighty rain. He seals up the hand of every man, that all men whom he has made may know it. Then the animals take cover, and remain in their dens. Out of its room comes the storm, and cold out of the north. By the breath of God, ice is given, and the width of the waters is frozen. Yes, he loads the thick cloud with moisture. He spreads abroad the cloud of his lightning. It is turned around by his guidance, that they may do whatever he commands them on the surface of the habitable world, whether it is for correction, or for his land, or for loving kindness, that he causes it to come. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of winter is found in Isaiah chapter 1, verses 16 through 18. It says, Wash yourselves. Make yourself clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek justice. Relieve the oppressed. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now, and let's reason together, says Yahweh, though your sins are as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Psalm chapter 147, verses 12 through 20. It reads, Praise Yahweh, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He makes peace in your borders. He fills you with the finest of the wheat. He sends out his commandment to the earth. His word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool, and scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down his hail like pebbles. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word, and melts them. He causes his wind to blow, and the waters flow. He shows his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done this for just any nation. They don't know his ordinances. Praise Yah. Passage number 4. This is from Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 through 12. The scripture says, For as the rain comes down and the snow from the sky, and doesn't return there, but waters the earth, and makes it grow and bud, and gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so is my word that goes out of my mouth, it will not return to me void, but it will accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the thing I sent it to do. For you shall go out with joy, and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills will break out before you into singing, and all the trees of the fields will clap their hands. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Psalm chapter 51, verses 6 through 7. The Bible says, Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of winter, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on winter. Passage number 6 is from Genesis chapter 8, verses 20 through 22. It says, Noah built an altar to Yahweh, and took of every clean animal, and of every clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Yahweh smelled the pleasant aroma. Yahweh said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake because the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. I will never again strike every living thing, as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night will not cease. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. 
The Bible says, I watched until thrones were placed, and one who was ancient of days sat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels burning fire. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of winter is from 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 20. It reads, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done mighty deeds, killed the two sons of Ariel of Moab. He also went down and killed a lion in the middle of a pit in a time of snow. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Proverbs chapter 31, verses 20 through 21. The passage states, She opens her arms to the poor, yes, she extends her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of winter is from Proverbs chapter 25, verses 11 through 13. It says, A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. As an earring of gold, and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover to an obedient ear. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to those who send him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of winter. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to winter, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.